friends, it's Paige Evans and I am here to do a flip through of the entire Truly Grateful collection. This is my eighth collection with Pink Paisley and it has a very fall vibe, but with the colors and patterns and picking and choosing different elements, you can make it work for all kinds of things. So I am going to start with the pattern papers. Like in my other collections, there are 24 double-sided pattern papers. This is paper number one, so it's a cut-apart paper. So you can use these tags and frames for journaling spots. You can trim off these edges and use them as border strips. And on the back side is a nice salmon-y pink polka dot. Paper number two is a beautiful floral paper. I've already had my Cameo cut out all of these flowers for me. So instead of fussy cutting them, it's amazing what the cameo can do. On the back side is a cute checkered plaid. Paper three are these leafy greens. I dare somebody to try fussy cutting those out. That would be awesome. And on the back side is a coordinating lime green. So these are always great for backgrounds or card bases, layout bases, and more. Paper four are tiny flowers and white stars. So they're little and itty bitty cute. On the back is this rich, dark purple B-side. So we've got a combination of flowers and leaves and butterflies on this really pretty mint teal color. And on the back is a nice deep blue. Again, great for backgrounds. Paper six is a zigzag with pinks and purples and oranges. I think it might be fun to hand stitch across these zigzags. This will be a fun one to use. And on the back side is a light pinky purple grid. Paper seven is a colorful forest of trees, perfect for fall. You can cut these out and use them on layouts and cards and mixed in between are these cute little farm creatures, squirrels, bunnies, chickens, and mushrooms. On the back side, it's a quadrant of different colors. This paper was my favorite paper in the Horizon collection, so we just had to repeat it using the Truly Grateful colors. So it's a burst of color and patterns. And then on the back side is a cute acorn light pink paper. Paper nine is this quilt of different patterns. Lots of possibilities with this one. And on the back is a really pretty dark blue floral. Paper 10, it's a rainbow of leaves. Once again, I had my Silhouette Cameo cut all these out using the pic scan feature. So you take a picture of it, import it into Silhouette Studio, and it cuts them out for you. It's super cool. Saves tons of time. And on the back side is a nice purple paper. Paper 11, got all these cuckoo clocks. So we visited a cuckoo clock museum in Germany once, once upon a time, so this paper will be perfect for that. And on the back side is a really great pink b-side. Plaid is coming back. So this is great for fall, even great for Christmas. I envisioned using this paper with my December daily. And on the back side we've got some apples. So that's a cute one. Paper 13, a bunch of words. So these are great for saving money. If you don't wanna spend your money on different letter stickers, you can just buy this one paper and cut out the individual words and use them as titles. And on the back side is a dark blue star paper. So the stars start off tiny and then they increase in size as you work, work your way down. Paper 14, have to have one of these kinds of papers in every single collection. I just love punching shapes out of each pattern or cutting them into triangles, piecing them together. It's a really great paper for getting a lot of patterns on one single page. And on the back side, sunbursts or suns in warm summer colors. Paper 15, all kinds of florals and once again I've already had my cameo cut out these flowers so I have a little baggie full of flowers just waiting to be used on a layout so it's like having a full page of die cuts. 
on the back side. We've got uh, paint, paint stripes, painted stripes from light pink down to purple. Paper 16, teeny tiny, teeny tiny, super cute mushrooms. And on the back side, we've got red stripes. Paper 17 are all these phrases. I brought this paper with me to church and fussy cut them out, which helps me listen. When I'm, when I'm multitasking and doing something with my hands, I find that I listen so much better. Anybody else? And on the back, colorful polka dots. Paper 18 is this kind of geometric design and it starts off lighter and gets darker pink towards the bottom. So this is a good background paper as well. And I love this, it's kind of like a vintage wallpaper. That's what it reminds me of. It's a blue background with peachy flowers. Teeny tiny flowers in all the colors. So this could be used for spring or fall, even summer, I'm not gonna limit you. <laughs> and a nice checker on the back in some of the more pastel colors. Paper 20 is kind of a mint green with tiny dots. This is a good background paper. And then, then on the back side, dark blue, lots of little birds. Jane loves this paper, she loves birds. Paper 21, we've got these hexagons of different animals and flowers and mushrooms. And on the back side is a white background with lighter X's. This would be also be a great paper to stitch. Paper 22, some leafy greens again, and a darker green, and a frame paper. These are always fun to fill with little bits and bobbles, cut some of them out, back them with pictures. Very versatile paper, love this one. Paper 23, we've got some leaves. Again, a great fall paper and some stripes in the pinks and peaches and purples. And last but not least, paper 24. Love these colors. They speak to my soul. I love how it changes, goes through the rainbow from, the cor from corner to corner. It's like a quilt pattern. And then on the back side is a pretty pink. All right, I have the specialty paper next, but I'm gonna take it out of the transparency or out of the packaging so it doesn't blind you. Give me a sec. So this specialty paper in Truly Grateful is a dark purple plaid with gold foiling. So you can see when it catches the light, it's got a fun shine to it. Again, I envision using this with fall, but also Christmas. Plaid just kind of reminds me of Christmas, and I like using non-traditional colors in my Christmas projects. So this will be really fun. Let's bring in the 12 by 12 paper pad and I'll take off these sticky stickers that keep it closed. So here is the Truly Grateful 12 by 12 paper pad. There are 48 sheets, 24 designs, two of each design, and it includes a mix of A and B sides. There isn't any gold foiling details on these papers, which brings down the price point instead of it being about $20, it's only $15 and I'm flipping through so you can see which 24 designs it includes. This is a great option if you don't want to buy every single paper in the collection, but you'll get a really good assortment of some of the some of my favorite papers in the whole line. I'll just keep flipping through. Love this one, all those colors. And the quality is really awesome too. They aren't double-sided, so it has a white back to each paper. Then you don't have to choose. Sometimes I'm like, which side do I use? The front side or the back side? But with the paper pad, you don't have to choose. Almost to the repeat. And here it starts over, so you get two of every paper. So that's the 12 by 12 paper pad. And now we'll bring in the 6x8 paper pad. The 6x8 paper pad does include copper foil. There are 36 sheets, 18 designs, two of each of those 18 designs. And I'll flip through so you can see. This first cut apart paper does have the copper details. And the purple floral paper, ombre stripes, polka dots, and the, some of the dots have the gold foiling. 
the mint leafy butterflies, dark blue stars, these cuckoo clocks have copper details, the pink and red plaid, colorful trees, this pink paper has the copper foiling, I'm trying to get it so you can see the shine, some pretty florals, checkerboard, these zigzag stripes have the copper details, the light purple, the sunburst in the rainbow, the tiny flowers and stars, and all the stars have the copper details, pink and purple stripes, and the colorful leaves, and then it repeats. So that is the 6x8 paper pad. There are one, there's one more set of paper pads, and that is the 2x2 two two paper pads, one with patterns and one with phrases, and I'll open them up and we can go through them. So let's start with the patterns. I love using these to punch out shapes, and you can hand cut letters for using as a title on your layouts, or you can tear them out and create kind of a quilt design on your layouts. It's fun just to have miniature things. So there are two of each design. This is probably my favorite. Colorful stars. So everything is just shrunk down so you get more of the design in a smaller surface area. There's some hearts. So that's a good paper for Valentine's Day or an anniversary. And then it repeats. Now we'll take a look at the phrases. Happy day with a pretty wreath leaf. Leaf wreath? <laughs> Leaf wreath, home sweet home, a floral ampersand, celebrate, love you so much, thank you very much, you are loved, love, I think you are pretty amazing, I sure do, magic and wonder, grateful, shine, hello, happy, happy, happy day right now, wishing you good luck. So this is just perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Stay golden, enjoy your day. A floral heart, and then it repeats. All right, two by two paper pads, on to the embellishments. The thickers in Truly Grateful are foam letter stickers with cardstock on top in coordinating rainbow colors. Really love the font of these ones and they stick really well. The 6x12 sticker sheet, there are 83 pieces with all kinds of icons. We've got phrases, sentiment stickers, a scalloped border sticker, butterflies, stars, trees, pumpkins, again tiny mushrooms, Lots of different uses for these stickers. We've got all kinds of puffy stickers. So first we have the puffy shapes, and there's also these teeny tiny dots, which are just perfect for the finishing touch on your layouts. They kind of look like paint splatters, but they're dimensional. So I love, there's butterflies, birds, flowers, hearts, leaves, some fruits, and more. We also have puffy, or puffy words but they're individual letters, so all kinds of really meaningful and happy phrases. Adore, blessed, sunshine, golden, beauty. Probably any of these will work for a lot of different layouts. Even cards, they're great because they're tiny, so they'd work for card makers. There are puffy, a whole package of puffy stickers in different phrases, and again, these tiny circles are just my favorite because I just plop them on there as a finishing touch. Lots of sentiments, birds, butterflies, hearts, stars, the works. There's a package of wooden, butts wooden buttons with epoxy centers. So these are just cute little bits of eye candy. There is a pack package of different kinds of embellishments. So there are enamel hearts in a lot of different colors. Some sequins, so there's pinks and clear sequins, and they're all shiny. And then a package of wood veneer pieces. 
And in the wood veneer, there are three phrases, laugh, loved, yes, some, fla some flowers, some hearts, and a circle with a heart on it, which you can hand stitch over. So that's really fun. And then we'll move on to the three packages of die cuts. Starting with the floral die cuts, there are 50 pieces and it includes a bunch of leaves. Again, this is a fall themed collection, but lots of different uses. So all these colorful leaves and I like how some of them have been cut out so they're a little bit more detailed. And then we have the individual flowers which don't have a white outline. I love using these flowers. I can always find a place to add a flower on my layouts. I guess a couple of them do have the white outline. And then the last bunch are the bigger groups of florals. Oh, there's one more in here. The bigger groups of florals, bunches of them, and then with the white outline. So a couple different types. I can use packages, packages of these all at once, just throw them on there, they look beautiful. So there's the floral and leaf die cuts, and then we have a package of journaling spots. So I'll take those out and show them to you. These have the copper foiling details on some of them, and they're great with the lines already on them, so you can write your journaling. Tabs, good for adding the dates. Okay, how cute is that with the little bite taken out already? Wonder, love, and then the second set. Together, there's some tickets that are perforated. Leaves, flowers, more of these tabs. Arrow, oh, we're missing one. Another arrow, this one says yes, this one says best. Something's hiding, oh, another tab. Then we'll flip these over. Cute library card. Just great journaling spots. If you don't know where to add your journaling, you can add it onto this and then add it right to your layout. And the last package of die cuts and the last bit in this collection are the ephemera die cuts. So there are 40 pieces and some of these do have the copper foiling. So let's look at them. All right, stay close to people who feel like sunshine, be a light, Rise and shine, see the beauty in everything, a flower right now, all we need is each other. A cute grateful pumpkin, look at the pink pumpkin. I must use that in my October Occasionally album. Birds, butterflies, leaves, cuckoo clock, a cute little stamp, lots of butterflies, some trees, more sentiments, more pumpkins. Another cute stamp with pretty flowers, Mushroom, a couple of sentiment banners. That's three of them. Happy place, hello sunshine, picture perfect. Flowers, birds. Here's the floral ampersand from the two by two paper pad. That's a die cut, some leaves, and some great titles. So this is a circle with a heart. There's little holes, so again, you can stitch through this. A couple of these dropped together, and yes, these are gold, and then a couple more flowers and a colorful leaf wreath. All right, friends, that is the Truly Grateful Collection. I hope you are inspired to use it. I know I sure am. Once I get a new collection in the mail, I am so inspired to just start creating layouts, mini albums, cards, DIY projects. Love getting new collections in the mail. It's just like Christmas. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm so, so super excited to see how you use Truly Grateful. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you again soon.